Bryson. Your dad and I decided that all you boys are going to be Eagle Scouts because we believe this will help prepare you for the real world, be a huge accomplishment, and help launch you into adult life. No thanks. I don't like doing scout camps. It's too... intense for me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bryson, and my parents forced me to occasionally sleep outside in the middle of nowhere and called it Boy Scouts, despite my massive amount of weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. And oh boy, do I have some stories about it. But as a gateway, they had me do Cub Scouts. The best thing I could say about Cub Scouts was that at least it was more chill. It was more like, okay, kids, today we're gonna do some bird watching. and learn to tie a knot. But then Boy Scouts were like, Build an ice igloo and sleep in it, or you'll die. Good luck. Seriously, the scout camps were so lawless. The only laws we followed were the laws of nature. Why were these adults giving 12-year-olds the power of fire? One year, when my dad was a scout leader, he woke up to see that the boys had started a bonfire and were jumping through it. Stop! What are you boys thinking? Uh, we, we, we were testing our courage, Bryson's dad. Uh, we were also testing Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection. If, uh, if, uh, if any of us are, uh, too weak, uh, we'll, 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 we'll fall in the fire and die. Which will clean the gene pool, making the next generation stronger. What? Okay, that kind of makes sense. All right, let me join in. Woohoo! Oh, uh, looks, looks like we lost one. eased into scouts at a thing called Cub Scout Day Camp, where you would show up, do activities as a group like the Ring Gutter Regatta, Duck Duck Goose, and Tying Knots. Then, at night, your parents would pick you up and take you back to your air-conditioned house. So you didn't actually have to sleep in the dirt. I remember being so jealous of the kids who had Lunchables. I was sitting there with a BLT sandwich with apple slices, a homemade cookie in the shape of a heart, and a handwritten note from my mom. Mom telling me how much she loved me, and meanwhile, Tyler had this! What a ripoff! But now, in retrospect, I'm grateful that my mom cared enough to pack me a lunch. One activity we did was we were going to learn how to make paper from, like, only stuff found in nature. We were gonna be the Bear grills of paper making. I was so excited to learn, but then we got there and they said, Okay, class, here's how to make homemade paper. First, grab some toilet paper, get it wet, mold it into the shape you want, let it dry, then you've got paper. Like, excuse me, that's like saying, Here's how to make a chair from scratch. First, grab a chair, and voila, you've made a chair. One useful thing they taught me was how to safely carve wood with a knife. Always aim the sharp end away from your body, and then stick the sharp end into another scout to conquer them. I was cruising through the Cub Scout ranks. Tiger, wolf, bear, we below. Still don't know what that is. The Mastos teeing off on now. Rory McIlroy, what a round of golf. That's what great play is. But then I had to evolve from a fun, relaxed Cub Scout into a hard, manly Boy Scout. And that meant going on campouts where I had to sleep in the wilderness. Dun, dun, dun! Going on 
on scout camps was really scary and anxiety inducing for me. I was a really sensitive kid, so even just one night camping trips were a nightmare for me. I was small and weak, so I couldn't hike as far as the other boys. I had gone on a few one night trips begrudgingly, but when they announced a week long backpacking slash camping trip, I begged my parents to let me stay home in the air conditioning and indoor plumbing. After much deliberation, they finally said I could stay home. I was so relieved, but then I stupidly tried to push my luck. This was around the time that the Nintendo 3DS was the hot thing that I desired more than anything in the whole world. So I asked, Mom, Dad, can I get a 3DS, please? Hmm, I'll buy you a 3DS. Really? If you go to scout camp. No, can't I just get it for Christmas or something? No, if you want one, you need to go on this scout camp. Show us how unreliant you are on technology and in return, we'll buy you more technology. This was such an ordeal for little me. I wanted the 3DS so much, but I despised scout camp. My mind raced trying to figure out a solution. Maybe, maybe I'll mow people's lawns for money and do lemonade stands. I'll, I'll save up the money to buy it myself. No. If you don't go on this scout camp, so long as you live under my roof, you will never own a 3DS. I won't let you buy one even if you earn your own money. This was a huge blow. I was devastated, and tragically, this was during the time when I still thought adults knew everything. And for some reason, I assumed that dad could actually enforce this outlandish rule. I was trapped. I had to go. <sighs> My parents said that the only way I could get a 3DS was if I went on this trip. Your parents are buying you a 3DS for this? My parents forced me to go or I'd be grounded all summer. Anyway, you want some cold pizza sauce and cheese on a cracker from my Lunchable? And then every morning we woke up, packed everything up, and hiked for like 12 miles every day then set up camp again. And I hated hiking. Everyone was always like, what a great view. But I was like, the view is never worth it. But nowadays I like hiking in views. Of course, my legs are so long now that I only have to take three steps and I'm there. But back then I had little legs. I was so small and weak that the other scouts had to help carry my stuff, and I still feel bad about it. I'm so sorry for being small and useless, guys. I honestly wonder why I didn't get called a twerp more often, because I was one. It was probably a good thing I was so shy and quiet, because if I had let my true annoying self shine through, the other scouts probably would have killed me with hammers while the leaders laughed and said, <laughs> boys will be boys. Ma'am, your son is throwing rocks at the other children's heads. Boys will be boys. No, teach them how to not do stupid stuff. Billy, stop throwing rocks and be nice. But I love myself just the way I am. Well, the way you are right now sucks. Do better, try harder. No. You will learn respect and suffering will be your teacher. Honestly, as much as I belly ached about it, having my friends there to talk to made it pretty fun. Not to mention being bribed meant at least one good thing would come of all this. We hiked, sang, caught frogs, and made a shelter out of sticks and bark to get our wilderness survival badge. Looking back though, it was funny how I always wanted to do my own thing regardless of what the other boys were doing. They all decided to go skinny dipping in a pond and I was like, no way am I doing that. But then Travis lost his swimsuit in the pond and had to streak back to his tent. And we later learned that the pond had leeches in it. The other boys wanted to stay up and make s'mores and the leaders were gonna teach us some life lesson about not swimming in leech infested waters or something. And I was like, no, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Then on the drive home, we stopped at a burger place and our leaders challenged us all to eat a burger with four patties. But I knew my weak stomach couldn't handle that. So I said, no, thank you. And got a normal burger. And then everyone told me to go to college and I was like, no, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. And then the IRS told me to stop committing felony tax evasion. And I said, try and stop me. That's a joke, I love paying my taxes. But I did it. I finished the trip. Then I got home and was given a 3DS. Yippee! I'm never going camping again. The next big scout trip I was forced to go on was at this huge camp where tons of other scout troops would visit. We arrived and this older scout came up to us. He held out his walking stick, pushed me aside and said, get out of my way. In scouts, there's a hierarchy among the boys where the older boys are allowed to be mean to the younger boys. However, I also had a glaring physical flaw that always had me at the bottom of the list. I was small, so even the younger scouts could beat me up. This boy was an assistant leader at the camp and it was immediately apparent to me that he was the type of guy to get one micron of authority and let it go directly to his head and abuse his power. 
but he was older and that made him better than us. At least in his mind. I think it's really neat that you've earned all these merit badges, buddy, but I think you're missing some of the most important ones. And those are the emotional maturity badge, the coping with insecurity badge, and the going to therapy badge. Which is what I would have said if I had any confrontation skills. Instead, I kind of just observed his arrogant attitude and silently judged him, and then years later made fun of him online in a YouTube video. Haha, <laughs> who's laughing now? Anyway, the leaders took us to our campsite and all of us slept in this rickety wooden structure filled with bunk beds. Then we went to a ton of merit badge classes and filled out packets. Great, we're just doing homework in the woods! But at least we had some downtime to just play card games together. However, one time while we were playing, this one kid, Sean, somehow fell out of his top bunk, did a flip through the air, and slammed into the ground. Anyways, got any forward? Kvess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. But in case you forgot, I continued through the Boy Scout ranks reluctantly and against my will, and I had to get interviewed to become a Life Scout. But in case you forgot, I was a shy little guy. The Scout leaders asked me what I learned and what requirements I did and blah blah blah. Then one of the leaders said, can I give you some advice? You could work on your eye contact. Oh. And from that point on, I've been really good at eye contact. Sometimes being told to cut it out is the solution. Look at my eyes! Look at them! See into my soul! The next big camp was a few years later. I was 16 and the leaders were like, Hey kids, today we're gonna learn how to shoot a shotgun. And this was at a point where I still thought adults had it all figured out, so I was like, Okay, seriously, why were they letting 16 year old boys wield shotguns? Luckily we were okay, but what if one of the boys was feeling a little rambunctious that day? Or if they let their intrusive thoughts win? Young boys don't understand consequences yet. I'm 22 and I still don't understand them. <laughs> Anyway, they gave me the gun and threw a clay pigeon for me to shoot. I hit it! My very first shot, and I hit it! And then I missed the next nine shots. 10% ain't bad. It's better than most of my school assignments. Then it came time to do an Eagle Scout project. So with a lot of help from my parents, I built some shelves to help my middle school organize their theater stuff. I had done it. I earned the rank of Eagle Scout. And now I love camping. I'm so prepared for the real world now. Can we see your resume? And what experience do you have that you believe will help you excel in this role? I don't have a resume or any applicable experience, but check out this square knot though. Honestly though, I don't think I deserve this award. I can't even start a fire on my own. And I'm not very trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, or reverent. My mom was the one that pushed for it, and I guarantee you that without her constant help with merit badges, camping gear, packing lists, and <laughs> encouragement, I would not have earned this. She she also helped my three brothers earn their awards, and I guarantee you that she can survive in the wilderness longer than me. She's the real Eagle Scout, not me. And so, by the power vested in me, by me, I officially revoke my Eagle Scout status and I award it to my mom. The moral of the story is that it's okay for your parents to force you to try new things sometimes. Maybe you'll make a video about it later. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I've got to get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Hey guys, I'm sick right now. <laughs> thanks for watching me struggle through the Boy Scout ranks. Also, a huge thanks to my amazing team for their fabulous skills. They did a great job as usual. I'm so grateful to be in a position to share my stories with you all, and I'm glad you like them. Boy Scouts was not really my speed, but it's good to step outside your comfort zone and try new things. If I hadn't been a Boy Scout, you guys never would have gotten this amazing video. Video, so you're welcome. Tisk tisk, the things I do for you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat a bagel. Bye!